I'm Pat Kelly, a network automation instructor with Network to Code. Today, we're going to discuss how to automate networks with a tool called Postman. We're going to do this using API calls to query an interface's configuration settings and then change them. This is a topic we focus on in our Network Programming and Automation Bootcamp, but I want to show you a small preview of it here. So let me show you an example of using Postman to automate working with network devices. After logging into Postman, I go to my workspace and click Collections on the top left. NPA using CSR1 is the collection I'm going to be using today. Beneath the collection name are multiple requests. First, let's look at the full configuration for network host CSR1, which is a Cisco CSR1000V virtual device. We use the get method against this URL. There aren't any parameters here. For authorization, this inherits from the parent. So if we click on the parent here, we can see it's basic authentication just with a very simple username and password, appropriate in a lab environment, certainly not for production. For headers, I've added two, an accept and a content type, both of which have values of application, yang data plus JSON. We're doing a get, so there is nothing in the body. If we were doing uh, a write type of command with a put or a post or a patch, then there would be data in here. Those are the key fields underneath here. And if we click send, then you can see we get a status 200 OK and the time of 722 milliseconds with even a breakdown of what was there, the size, of the response for the body as well as for the headers. And we can look here and scroll down and see the results that we've gotten in JSON format. Cisco IOS XE native colon native, the version is 17.1. Now, all we've done so far is using read type request with the get verb. Let us create a loopback address and as a matter of fact, I'm going to do a get on loopback 400 first so that you can see that it is not found. It is not there. So I will go back up to this put and we're using put against the same base URL with interface and a slash loopback equal 400. And that is what is in the body, which I've selected here. So there's loopback with a name colon 400. And if I click send, I should get a status of 201 created, which it's been fulfilled and it's resulted in a new resource being created. There's really nothing to show here. So now if I do a get information on loopback 400 and click send to get it re-update, and it says, OK, there's loopback with a name of 400. But I don't have any other additional information. So let's say I want to put the primary IP address. And here it's loopback equal 400 with an IP address. And in the body, we say the primary is 40.4.4.1 slash 24. And if I click send, I will get a 204, no content. But the 200 family of HTTP response codes is successful. And so now if I take a look at this by jumping down to this particular request, which I've used before, this is old information. I have to click send to update it. And now I have the 40.4.4.1 slash 24 specified in there. I can do it here looking for IP address information in particular and see what I get there. Now, if I want to add additional information, I can do a patch, which in the body, I'm adding 40.40.4.1 slash. And so adding that secondary information, and with a patch, it will leave what's already in place, such as the primary address. And if I click send here, then it is created with no, no content. And if I look at this, and again, old information, click send again to update, you can see that for loopback with a name of 400, 
there is this secondary IP address 40.40.4.1 slash 24, as well as another secondary address 40.40.5.1 and the primary of 40.4.4.1 slash 24. If I wanted to step on what was there and only put the primary IP information, then I could go back to that request, 204, 200 family being successful at the information. And I now, you can see this is the last line, I have only the primary IP address information. It basically stepped on with a put command the other existing information, which was the secondaries. Patch will update, if you will, things in place. Put will step on it. And likewise, I can go to delete the loopback 400 by using the delete verb here, loopback equal 400, send it. That was successful with 204, no content. And if I look at the loopback 400 and send for the current information, not found. I hope you liked what you saw in my quick demo of Postman. Let's look at some steps you can take to continue on your network automation journey. The Network to Code Academy offers a three-day course on network automation with Python Level 1, as well as a five-day course on network programming and automation covering both Python and Ansible at Level 1. Maybe you have some general programming knowledge, maybe you have almost none. In either case, these Academy courses can move you quickly through the learning curve in the context of network automation. Go to our homepage at networktocode.com. In the top right hand corner, click on training, then scroll down to enterprise training to learn more about which courses are most appropriate for you. With Network to Code training, your organization can join the increasing ranks of those who are making an API strategy a priority, and you could be one of the ones making network automation key to your organization's success.